Hey everyone, and welcome to today's live stream. I have never created a video before in response to another video that was on YouTube. However, one has come to my attention that I realized that I absolutely need to respond to because it has already hit more than 100,000 views and it's truly horrifying. Um, there is a video out there that says that you can deworm your animals with lye. Yes, lye, L-Y-E, the drain cleaner, the caustic chemical, sodium hydroxide, potassium hydroxide. Um, it's being touted as natural and cheap and effective. And it is really scary that this is out there and that people are, I looked at the comments and they, I didn't continue for too terribly long because the comments were all 100% positive. And then the thing that made me realize that this needs to stop is because someone replied and said that, um, she said, I'd put this in brownies to deworm people because we have them too. And <laughs> I was like, oh my goodness, this is really bad um, to think that somebody would put lye, a caustic drain cleaner into food. It's bad enough that this video is telling people to feed it to their animals, but to see someone in the comments, to see lots of people in the comments saying, this is fabulous and thank you. And I'm so excited to have this information. But then to see somebody say that she's going to put it in brownies to feed it to people because they have worms too. That is when I realized that I needed to create a video in response to this. And um, hopefully the YouTube algorithm will somehow think that this video um, needs to get pushed out to enough people that we can debunk this horribly dangerous um, myth. So as I said, lye is a caustic chemical that is used to clean drains. How does it clean drains? You put it in there and it eats up whatever is in there. Lye can cause severe chemical burns and eat through flesh. And I actually have personal experience with this <laughs> because um, we've been homesteading since 2002 and about 16, 17 years ago, I was making soap one day and it's before I wore glasses all the time. And so I did not have any eye protection. And what happened was the soap mixture, which contains lye splashed into my eye and I had and it was instantly excruciating, like just this little splatter that got into my eye was instantly excruciating. And thank goodness I knew that I was supposed to flush my eye with water for 15 minutes and then go to the emergency room. Whoever said to flush your eye for 15 minutes has clearly never done it because that was really, really hard to do. It's very hard to keep your eyeball under a running faucet for more than a minute or two. Um, and I, I kept trying and, and then I thought, well, maybe it's really not that bad. And I looked up and I covered my eye that did not have the lie in it and everything was blurry. And I was like, oh no. And I asked my son to take me to the emergency room and it was quite an ordeal. It was excruciatingly painful um, but thankfully I knew what to do and I got to the emergency room and they got me to an ophthalmologist and they were able to, um, do, we needed to, we did all the things we needed to do so that I did not lose the vision in that eye. Um, so if your animal consumes enough lye to kill worms, to dissolve worms, it's going to dissolve their flesh also. So this does not make any sense. And in the video, he talks about using a small, smallish amount of lye. Um, but if, if it can't dissolve, the only way lye could kill worms is by dissolving them. 
And if it can dissolve the worms, it's going to dissolve your animal's internal organs. So you, the, if this is the case of like the cure is worse than the disease. Like you would wind up killing your animal if you gave them enough lye to eat up the worms in their gut because it would eat up their gut too. Um, and it's kind of shocking that so many people responded to this video clearly don't know what lie is and what lie can do to human flesh and goat flesh and just any kind of flesh. And so it would cause, it would cause burning of the mouth in the esophagus, in the stomach. If it made it to the intestines before it killed the animal, it would eat up their intestines. They would be in an extreme amount of pain and most likely die. Um, and so the thing that people need to understand, like this is not anything that anyone has ever recommended. It's nothing that's ever been studied. It's just one of those old timey myths, apparently. I, interestingly enough, I've had goats for 23 years. I have never heard this before. And there are people in the comments saying, oh yeah, so-and-so in the seventies did this. Um, they did a lot of things back then that we now know are really bad and dangerous. Um, so that is not a reason. Um, the fact that they did things in the seventies is often a reason to not do it because they did things back then because they didn't have good things to actually use. So, um, I totally understand that people want to have natural solutions to things. They want to have DIY solutions to things. And the reality is that you can, you don't need drugs. And if you're, if you're using lye to kill worms, or if you think you're using lye to kill worms, you're using it like a drug, just like herbs. If you're using herbs to control worms, you're using it like a drug. Um, a drug is something that like treats an illness. And so what a vet professor said to me, because if you haven't heard my story before, we started raising goats in 2002. And within just a couple of years, we had goats dying from worms. And a vet professor said to me rather quickly, within three or four years, um, because I took my animals to the University of Illinois Vet Hospital. And one of the professors there said to me, you will never get control of worms with drugs. She knew that 20 years ago. She, I did not realize how ahead of her time she was because there are still people who think that drugs are the answer and they're not. It's all about management. You know, so we actually wound up 20 years ago, we wound up with complete dewormer resistance. None of the dewormers worked. I tried everything except lie. Apparently I had not heard of lie, nor would I have tried it because I was a soap maker and I knew what lie was and what it did or what it could do. Um, but worm control is not about using drugs. And none of the drugs worked once there was dewormer resistance. Apple cider vinegar did not work. Basic H did not work. Um, DE did not work. You name it, I tried it. Because you know what? When your animals are dying and the traditional drugs no longer work because you've got resistance, you do try you know, the other stuff. And none of that stuff worked. What worked and what saved my goats was learning the science. That's how I became a huge fan of the science. And that's why I teach the science. Because if you understand the science behind worm control, it's not a problem. Um, and what I do is truly natural. It's like we are trying to mimic nature on our farm. Goats in nature are not eating from their toilet. They're not eating where they pooped yesterday. They are moving. They are eating from the bushes and the trees. And so we do everything we can to keep our goats from eating from their toilet. And that is like the biggest problem. And it's really important to understand the science because I suppose this guy with the lie thinks that somehow the lie is keeping his, his animals from having worm problems. But the reality is there's probably something else because he doesn't know the science. There's something going on. If he doesn't have worm problems, there is something going on. Maybe he's got Cerisi Lespedeza growing in all of his pasture. 
which the science will tell us if you have cerise lespidiza growing in your pasture, you're not going to have any problems with worms or coccidia. Cerise lespidiza is the only thing that kills both worms and, and coccidia. And that is pretty amazing. And it is 100% natural. And I used to know a lady in Tennessee had no worm problems and she knew it was because she had pastures full of Cerise lespidiza. Today, a lot of people plant this stuff on purpose or they buy Cerise lespidiza hay or Cerise lespidiza pellets if they don't um, have it growing in their area or if it can't grow in their area because it can't grow too far north. So there are plenty of truly natural things that can work, but lye is not one of them. And in fact, it's horribly, horribly dangerous. Um, and so... Uh, I just noticed there's some comments um, on Facebook and mostly just people who are shocked that, that, that this is out there. So um, I want to make sure there weren't any questions that I needed to answer. But the comments on here so far are pretty much what I would expect. I, the, I just it's shocking to me that this that video on YouTube has over 100,000 views and that there are so many totally positive comments on it. And so I, you know, if you've watched my videos before, you know, I am not one of those people who's like, Oh, like comment, subscribe, but I'm doing it today because like, this has got to get out there. Like somehow we have to reach those hundred thousand people who saw that video and think this is a good idea. Um, so please like this video, you know, comment on it so that the algorithm gods will think that it's worthy of being shown to more people. Um, subscribe to our page or channel and hopefully and if you hear somebody saying this please feel free to share this video with them so it's we're live streaming on youtube and facebook today facebook deletes videos after 30 days so if it's more than 30 days you'll need to refer them to the to the youtube video head over to for the love of goats on youtube to like our channel and to learn all the great science um, behind worm control and all that kind of stuff. So I hope this has been helpful. Please um, share this information with people. Um, and if you want to get a quick tutorial on worms and goats, you can go to my website, thriftyhomesteader.com slash goats, goat slash worms. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and... Um, Put that thriftyhomesteader.com goat dash worms there. Hopefully that turns into a clickable link for everybody. Oops, maybe I should have put HTTPS. Um, so anyway, um, I'll fix it later if I have to. If you're watching this later and you've got any questions whatsoever, please feel free to post in the comments section below. We've got all kinds of videos on YouTube about the all about deworming and parasite control and proper dewormer usage. And in the podcast, For the Love of Goats, we've interviewed multiple researchers and vet professors about the latest information um, on worm control and other parasites and proper dewormer usage and everything. And it works. Like the science works. My herd is living proof. I used to have goats dying left and right from worms 20 years ago. And now maybe out of my 30 goats, um, two or three will need a dewormer once a year. That's it. And those are typically first fresheners um, after they kid or sometimes a buck and rut will um, forget to eat and be a little crazy. And so the worms will get the best of him, but there is no way um, that's, that's actually the guideline. Now what the science says, you should not be giving a dewormer to more than 10% of your animals every year. If you are, there is stuff that you can do with management and management is free y'all. It's all about what you're doing in your pasture. Um, there is stuff you can do with management to reduce your worm problems. So check out that article at thriftyhomesteader.com slash goat dash worms. Um, link is in the comments. Uh, Mystical Cat saw the video and thought it was pretty crazy. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> um, 
So please share this video um, with people and like it, subscribe to the channel and all that kind of stuff. So hopefully YouTube will push it out there to more people and we can try to reach some of those hundred thousand that saw that terribly dangerous video. So, um, and the sad thing about that is somebody really does have worm problems. Um, that's not going to help them. So anyway, bye for now.